Hello, I'm William Shakespeare. Today I'm going to talk about my life back in Stratford and London, about my lovely playwriting stuff. Here I do have actually have a long enough script as me being a ghost of Love Labours 1. You have lost because when you lose it, it's a very bad thing. It goes like this. And then it happened the ever after. The end. Well, today I will talk about to you about my life back in Stratford and London, as you already know. And maybe some other stuff that you may not have known of. But I have also found out for searching the internet. So please next time do not lock on the internet. They have made me lies. Probably like one, two, three, four. I so yes, please enjoy this Shakespeare presentation. So then, now to talk about my child life. Well, it wasn't really the best, but it wasn't really the worst. I didn't go to university, so that was fun. I had to waste my life on, you know, uni. Let me be a nice girl, it's because, you know, um... He said before marriage was a very bad thing, so I, I did it anyway, and then I had to go get married straight away. But that's a bit too far. But I was um, born originally back in the 1600s. I was dead in the 1600s. April the 23rd, 1524, as far as I know it, I was born in Stratford upon Avon, and I went to some really cool grammar school. It was quite a good school, apart from the fact. There was no girls there, there was always the boys. I find it fine, I, I, I actually had a quite good time at school today, yeah. I didn't go to uni or anything, I met a nice girl, her name was Anne, she was quite nice, yes. Because we were going to get married because she was having a baby, so we had to make it look like we had sex after marriage, so that's fine. So, yeah, that's all down to my childhood. Next up, my middle aged, to be honest. But back in 1583, I had my first child named Susanna. Uh, we got a Christian. Yeah, she's a Christian. Because we had to be believers now, don't we? Nice believers. We questioned her. It was a very nice day. Yes, it was a very nice day. It was just the sun was out. It's like God blessed her then. And then 1585, I had some twins. Hamlet and Judith were born. They were lovely, lovely kids. Sometimes a bit of a mess around her. So Oh, son, he, he, he died at the plateau. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop filming, stop filming. Oh. Yeah, he, he died. Oh, the black death. Because uh, I went to London and I had the very bad black death. I wrote plays, of course, you all know that. I, I wrote the best Hamlet, and Macbeth was a big success. Romeo and Juliet, oh, a lovely love story. Macbeth was more like a very, more awesome, you say that? Yeah. Uh, I, I always try to impress our queen, uh, Elizabeth. I impress her quite a lot. Quite well as well. Um, she was a very nice lady. Well, sometimes she, she does say, oh, with the... Of the head loss, but she's a very nice lady when you come to meet her, but you obviously can't meet her. You can meet her on a DVD, but yes, kind of it. 1592 was a very big step for my career. Um, because I was talking about London and stuff. The Black Death. Oh, yeah. And um, oh, yeah, I went to London to start studying on theatres. And of course, my club theatre was born, as you can say that. But um, eventually, I've got to move to the. Um, more the northern area than the south of the um, sea. Because the growth area was like right in the heart of the town, like where lots of um, houses were around. Yeah, so we had to move it near to a river. It was quite cool because um, you could just throw all your rubbish over there, which basically could have caused global warming. So, um, yeah. So, rounding up all that information into one. 1666 was the year that was my best year, of course I died, it was unlucky of course, <laughs> death is unknown, even I don't know the death, so yeah that's my life all being to one, so um, thank you for watching this presentation, um, hope you research more of Shakespeare, goodbye.